Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back over here by, uh, Field 76 and 78. Basically, today we're gonna find out how the Robud will handle these, uh, woods here. So, yeah, there are some trees out in these woods, but, uh, you know what? Let's chew them up. Let's just see what we can do here. Some of them are down in the ground, so I can't cut them all. This is going to be challenging to say the least. Don't know if I can. Okay, oh, there we go. So it does chew them out. See how they're down in the ground like that? I'm hoping I can get rid of them. There's one right there that will chew that one up. I don't know if it will or not. Yeah, there we go. All right. I forgot they changed the uh, the trigger on this. Robud, uh, you have to back up a little bit away from the stump now, which is kind of crazy, but... Here we go. And the neighbor's dog is barking. I wonder what he sees. Probably a bird or something. Let's see now. There's a bush here. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Maybe like that. Yep. Alright. So, I might leave some of these trees, like these, uh, fir trees in here. But the other ones have got to go. Like the ones that they have put in the ground here. Uh, let's see. Make a left. This Robud is amazing. I hope they uh, have this very soon on 19. It does do great works with stumps, uh, clearing. And yeah, I'm gonna shoot that one up. There we go. It's almost like the uh, what was that thing called? The Ah, uh, it starts with a B. It's on PC. What do you call that thing? Not the Buher, that was a tractor. Y'all know, I, I, I cannot remember the name of it. I know it started with a B. But anyway, it attaches to the front of the tractor just like the Robud. And it actually makes wood chips. So, kind of hit a plateau here for some reason. It's not chewing uh, any of the rest of this stuff up. I got a stump right there. I'm gonna need to back off of it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Still something there. It's chewing on something. Hmm. There you are. There's the stump. It's hard to see them. Well, this one's not wanting to go away. There we go. Guess you have to sit on it for a minute, maybe. So you have to get kind of far away from them to go now on the stumps. If you get right up on it, it won't disappear. See, it's not going anywhere, but you have to back off. And then it goes. It's kind of weird. I wish they hadn't... It was more realistic when you got it right over the stump, but I'm sure somebody complained about, you know, maybe not being able to see the stump or something. So they reset the trigger away from the robot, which is just not... It was better the way it was before. They need to fix that. They need to come out with an update. Let's see now where... 
this is the trigger for that one. Somewhere in here, maybe? Where's that? There, right there. There we go. Where's the trigger for this one? Right there, there it is. There is the culprit. Alright. So yeah, I may try to leave some of the long trees just to take them down to the logging place. I'm hitting something right here. I don't think there's a stump there, but... Here we go. I'll say this is a lot better than getting here and trying to pull them out of the ground with a chainsaw. Come on, disappear. Well, this one's not going anywhere. Oh well, I did chew the bottom off of it. Here we go. I just gotta get rid of the stump. Here we go. All right. I like having this uh, the ability to have this on the uh, tractor here with three point hitch. That's great. All right, I'm still hitting something here. There we go. All right, now there's something else in the ground. Right in here somewhere. Looks like there's something behind me, too. Let me go ahead and back up here. Something in the ground somewhere. Make sure that's down. And it's not always right over it. I'm not hitting anything. That may be over to the left here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just hit something right there. Right there it is. That should make that go away. Yep. Alright. Now we gotta find the triggers for these. It's all about finding where the triggers are. There it is. Those should disappear. Yep, there they go. Alright, moving right along. Moving right along. Uh, let me get some of these in between here. Like I said, these trees we really can't do a whole lot with because they are in the ground. See, most of these are in the ground here. Can't do very much with them. If you cut them off with the chainsaw, you're still going to have the uh, stump in there. which will not be a good thing, and if we can't cut it, then we'll really be in trouble. But this robot, it comes in and it just clears it all. Just trues it on down, and these are real things. Um, I know, I haven't seen a, uh, I don't know if Robot is a real brand name or not, but the concept for this is actually real. You can search YouTube and search for Fecon, F-E-E-C-O-N, I think is how it's spelled, and uh, you will see something like this in action. Very, very cool to watch this thing in action in real life. Alright, I see a tree sticking up here. Why is it not? Come around from the other side, maybe. Yeah. Get some of them out of the way anyway. I think I need to angle this a little better. I 
need to come in from this thing at an angle here. Yeah. There we go. Get rid of this stump. This trigger right here is really sensitive. There we go, they got rid of a big chunk of it. Tree right in here somewhere. There it is. Got it. All right, let me get rid of that. There right, you got some stumps over here. It looks like they might have had two right next to each other. See those two stumps ahead of me? Got them gone. All right, this is looking a whole lot better, isn't it? Getting this cleared out. We can plow these two fields together and make one big field here, kind of, just a little bit. But yeah, anybody that says that this is not a realistic thing, this uh, robot, needs to go search Fecon on YouTube. Because this is totally realistic. I'm sure I, I might get some, uh, some that say, well, that's not, you know, that's, that's cheating. That's not really farming. No, this is this is a real thing. If you just want to clear woodland, machinery like this does exist. Uh oh. I think that just fell through the map though. That's funny. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything with it now though. I think it just fell through the map. That does happen from time to time. But you know what? It's not our worry anymore. Unless it causes lag or something, I don't think it would, but... Get on that tree. Eat it. Eat that tree. Whoa. Or make it unstable. Either one. Here we go. Bingo, we got it. So, I can't remember if I tested this robot out on the hedges. Did I try this thing out on the hedges? I can't remember. Let's see if I can get through here and get down to that hedge there. I don't think it will. I think these hedges are like a permanent thing. I'm not seeing any wood chips fly off of them and I'm not getting a trigger. I tried plowing it out before. You can see where I brought the plow in trying to plow them down, but uh, mm -mm. you cannot erase these hedges. They are permanent. So that's, that's, that's disappointing that you can't chew those out because if you could we could just make this a longer field here you know and really expand this thing but they decided not to make it that way for some reason and this tree does not want to die why doesn't this tree want to die well I cut something back there something fell over Hey, what? Let me, um, where's this tree? There it is. Maybe it's because that bush is in the way. Hang on, let me get this. Let me get this over here. If I can.
Sometimes you just have to sit over it and it'll go away. It's slowly going away. Let's try to cut this again. Oh, apparently I did cut it. I cut the whole bottom out of it. Look at that. See, look, I can go all the way up under this thing. So I need to raise this up and cut it. Or I may have to cut it some, some other way. It may have to come from the other side. That's crazy. see if I can get this from the other side here. This might be where the robot on a uh, skid steer or telehandler might come in handy when you get a tree like this. Yeah. So I may have to get a version of this where I can hook it up to a uh, something with an arm on it. trigger this now. There's not a trigger on it anymore. I'm going to come back for that one. With something else. Hmm. You know, this is the three point. No, it won't work. I was going to say I could use the little guy with the robot on it. With the, uh, or use the T6 with it. And put it on there. I think you can get it for a, uh, where it'd be under here, wouldn't it? Forestry, yeah, there it is. So skid steer, wheel loader, that'd be like the, uh, the big wheel loaders. There's the three point that we have, a telehandler, front loader. That, that is probably what we need is the front loader because we have the arms already. I uh, don't see us really needing it for the telehandler unless we get one that's glitchy or something and then we can just lease it or something, but we should probably trade this in for the front loader tool. So I think I am. I think I'm going to go trade this in. Alright guys, so we found out that we can clear the woods. Uh, it is a slow process, but um, we've actually made pretty good progress here. We've got most of them cleared out and I'll come back and I'll probably just cut these trees and load them up. Uh, go ahead and bring the log trailer back up here and load these up. I'm going to go ahead and work on this uh, in between uh, this video and the next and try to go ahead and get all these woods cleared out here. Um, at least up to the wall here, which we're just about done. Um, at least get up to this wall here because there is some property issue with this field. So we'll have to wait and buy this field at some time in the future. Because see these, uh, well, it's alright that we've cleared out what we've cleared out so far because we own this half uh, of the woods. But just to make sure there's no property disputes, um, we'll wait and come back and buy this field next time. Um, or maybe not next time, but at some point, you know, some point in the future so we can clear all the woods down to here and uh, just open this all up. Because we can open all this up and combine it with the uh, the hay field that we have over here somewhere. Here we are. Yeah, we can clear all that out and combine these fields. And unfortunately, we can't get rid of the uh, the hedge boundary there, which I really wish we could. I wish we could get rid of that and these weeds uh, that like hanging around in these spots out here. So, but unfortunately, we can't do that, and uh, that's why West Coast is. Uh, is kind of on life support at this point. Um, I, I like the map. Like, like I said before, it's a great map. Uh, just uh, kind of lacks on the customization. So, uh, but uh, I'll keep on working on it. And uh, if uh, I will say, if a certain map comes out, uh, this map may be put on the shelf for a little bit, uh, like the far top shelf. So we can't reach it anymore, but but anyway, um, I'll keep working it, and um, we'll see what the future holds. Uh, it could be uh, another month or two or something before we see a new map come out, so um, I'll keep working on it, uh, and then maybe still work on it after that. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll keep on going. Alright guys, we'll go trade this in for one with a uh, front loader attachment, 
and come back the next time. So until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We will see you guys later.